Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm here with Chris. Say hi, Chris. Warehouse. Chris is a new member of the F's and Frank team. Shout out Chris for grinding it out here with me and Sean. You know, it's not easy dealing with Sean's bullshit on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, but we have here his collection of cord hats, strictly cord hats. Just cord. And we're gonna go through it and we're gonna pull out our favorites and then we're gonna uh, talk about them like hat nerds. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sounds good. Where do you want to start? Just anywhere? Okay, well, I'm going to... Yeah, I don't know. Why don't you pull out your top five and I'll pull out my top five. Just we'll straight up top it. five right now? Yeah. Okay. We got vintage clothing by the rack. Yeah. Just check out my Insta. How you gonna argue with that? Okay, guys. These did not make the top... Ten, the top... Whatever. Top seven. We're showing you the top eight, but I'm just going to quickly show you the other... Not top hats. All these hats are sick, but you know, we just want to talk about the dopest ones. I do, I do love that Mabel one. Yeah, this, you wore this yesterday. Or the, a, I, I didn't, but if I, oh man, I just wish, I wish I had a date on the rim. That'd be so great. Yeah, show and what you're wearing too. The, the oh, yeah. Tar Heels Trucker. Yeah, this Tar Heels Trapper, Trucker. Got it for, got it uh, at a gas station in Idaho. Brand new. Sick. Had a little price tag on the brim. Idaho, no, Utaho. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Bust out, show, show them your, uh, Go from the, the, the back to the front. Okay, back to the front. It's tough. Okay, so I'll go, I guess I'll go, this Kings is number five, even though it's like so good. It's a pretty like, you know, it's a, it's it's like a casual hammer. Like you yeah. can wear it day to day. But, but it's, it's two-tone, which is the only, well, this is two-tone too, but right. that's like a little bit more rare. It's got the back it's hit. It's got the back hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's a great um, one. What do we got here? The classic Ted Fletcher. Anyway, hammer, King's hammer, next. Yeah. Okay, next one's gotta be this Washington Capitals one. Two-tone again. Two-tone again. Just so, like, the shape is so great on it. And like, yeah, just love the that old logo. And then the cordy just takes it over something the top. Something about the cord, eh? Yeah, like, it something about the cord. Good. It just feels good, it just feels good. Obviously cord is like popping right now, popularity, right. Yeah. which, uh, I don't know why. Do you know why? I don't know why, no. Maybe because it was been maybe it's because it was slept on for so long and now it's like a new thing that people are discovering. And yeah, they're like, it could be something. Well, Sean, do you have any theories on the cord? Yeah, Kirby likes them. Okay, Dead Union, shout out Dead Union. Kirby likes them. Yeah, well, half. Okay, let's not well, forget that half thing. half these ones that I got are, are from, from, Kirby? from the five dollar basket. <laughs> shout out Kirby's five dollar basket. Us. Yeah, you guys have heard me talk about the five dollar table too, the t-shirt table. Man, it's come up on there. Yeah. I think part of, this might be uh, not accurate, but part of the cord resurgence, I think, is because of Witherspoon. He, he put out a cord shoe. Right. And also, you know cord is a vegan fabric, oh, okay. which a lot of shit is not vegan. Interesting. I did not know that. But again, it's like, when you're talking about vintage, does vegan matter? Because you're like, the shit was already dead if they use the animal products anyway. True. It's and so now far in the past. It's worse to just again. throw it out than actually recycle right. it. Yeah. I know what you mean. But anyway. Okay, let's yeah. go for your number. Okay, so here we'll just go like, we'll just shout out the Seattles. We'll be like tied for number two here is the Seahawks and the and the Sonics. Like they both, they both kind of have, again, like this is one that you can just kind of like wear to a softball game and like people are like, holy yeah. shit, like where, yeah, yeah. Versus this one's like a little bit more of like a- Classic logo, yeah, Pacific classic Northwest. Logo, exactly. But this one to but me that, is yeah. like super fire. It is. Super rare. And I love like, and, and I love this has such a good shape still too. Eh? It's such a good shape. I love defunct teams, yeah, as you know. Any team that like is no longer in the league, love it. And then this. And What's then, your favorite defunct team of all time? My fit. Why? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, there's just so many. Expos. Montreal, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Montreal. <laughs> um, and then this one is my favorite because I found this uh, on the side of a lady's house, this lady in Coombs on the island. She got she got hats stapled all over her house. You can see this like little rust mark on the back, which is literally the stain from the staple that they took it off when I bought from her. It's a Labatt with 
crossed with the black comb. It's got the old black comb logo with the little mountain as the A, which is like the 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 logo for black classic, comb, classic, classic. which is what you're looking for. And it's a cord, and it's all white. <laughs> and literally, when I got to the lady's house, I said, "How much are your hats on the house?" She says, "Not for sale." As the guy next to her says, 10 bucks." And I was like, "Sounds like they're ten dollars." Right. And to add to this story, so. Did we meet in Whistler or did we meet in Van? We met in Whistler at your store. Yeah, at your so first store. my first store was in Whistler, which yeah. Black Home is Whistler, if you didn't know that. Right. I live 45 minutes down the road from, I snowboard Black Home all the fucking time, yeah. still to this day. Yeah, and just so you know, Black Home is the superior mountain of the two mountains. So just, that's why everyone loves. I have to say that, that's, a, that's an argue, that's, you that's know, a, arguable. Arguable, arguable. I... I can I appreciate both, but I have diehard black home friends. I swear yeah. they will never step foot on Whistler. I am too. I'm really? like, I'll, I mean, I'll go to Whistler if I if I have to, but dude, it's powder day on the peak on Whistler. I'm not nobody. Listen, look, look. Obviously, yes, <laughs> yes. But it's all about it's all about the flat spots and the and the fall line. It's true. I'm a big efficiency the, uh, guy. If you're if you're wanting to have a full day of trees, like. Crystal chair, especially the way they put oh, it now. Oh yeah, crystal chair all day, all baby. Day. All day, baby. Burnt forest. Yep. Okay, so we met in Whistler. He came to my store. My first store was Whistler. Yeah. Um, and like oh seven oh eight. Yeah, uh, I lived there for like ten years. Whistler, Black Home, soft spot in my heart. Yeah. Sick hat. You know, fucking that would be in the stash if I owned it. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna give you mine. So th this was just a. Dope. Oh, another Canadian so good. memorabilia, the Kokanee beer. If you don't know, that's like our beer. I probably drank way more than I should have drank of that in my teen years. Yeah. Um, and the blue on this is just oh, nice, I eh? It's so like nice. this, like. And I love that co the K, like the K font on the Kokanee is just so like oh, yeah. classic yeah. Canadian shit. This exactly. one again has a wicked shape to it. Great shape. And then this, it's all about the snowboarding and skiing today. This is Apex Mountain Resort. Yeah. But again, like. Look at the neon embroidery the and the color purple. and the purple is just super yeah. dope. Apex is a resort in like Okanagan, right? Correct. Yeah. Have you been there? I have. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Is it flat like compared to out here? No, there's lots of no, there's lots of steeps. Cool. No, it's a good mountain for sure. And they get that Again, nice this dry Fletcher, powder. This Fletcher guy killed it on the cords. You know what's yeah, weird? Yeah. It's like this is challenged, but a couple of these were Fletcher, right? Let me check. Yeah, this says caught Ted Fletcher. This one is. Yeah, look, these are all Ted Fletcher, but this is a totally different Ted Fletcher tag. Yeah, it is. Ted Fletcher had the cord game on lock. Yeah. Okay, Apex, purple, dope. So good. Then my last pick is this Budweiser with the uh, string. This one is a K brand. Do your research, people, if you know what K brand is. Boom, K brand. Uh, oh, it's even got this K brand dope tag. So this is what we're going to do. We want you to... What, what types of hats do you collect? All kinds, I, I, like mostly sports, a little bit of like music, and then like Aspect beer. Sports specialties collection. You have sports specialties? Yeah. Okay, let us know down in the comments what parts of his collection you want to see. He's got sports hats, he's got music hats, a lot of hats. We'll come back with round two of this. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, bud.